wanted to uh, show you a little bit about some of the accessories or accessory mounting points and options that came on the Gordon 8 and half D. I think also the 9J and the 8D had these as well. Uh, but well, you know, first there's just these uh, these two mounts. Uh, I think they sold like lights, um, uh, maybe maybe a couple of things like um, uh, the oil um, the oil sprayer nozzles uh, would mount mount up to those, I believe as well. Um, there might have been some other accessories that would mount to these two points as well. The, uh, on the, let's see, on the other side there's, well actually, down here, this is a, um, I guess it's called a treadle uh, hole, uh, you know, for, for a for a foot operated uh, treadle, and basically that would come out, come out down here, I'm assuming. I haven't actually seen one on a mill, um, but I've seen it in the catalog. Um, and you know that would come around and, and it would fit into this one as well and I believe that this is a pivot point um, for that treadle that would then attach it to the uh, the quill the quill uh, the quill feed shaft um, then you got another you know light mounting spot there um, I've seen, well, you know, I've got a little plate back there through which you can get to the uh, inside of the back of the machine. I've seen uh, machines with, um, with oil pumps back there. And then, of course, um, you know, this lip is designed to catch oil. And, um, and then you got little screens back there. So this whole bottom section is a sump. Um, you've also got... Um, I don't know if that's a, a three-quarter inch uh, NP. I don't even know what that is exactly, but basically um, you'd have a, a fitting to drain oil um, from there, and then uh, I think into one of these holes uh, it would go to. Um, actually, I'm saying oil. <laughs> I mean, I mean coolant. So. Yeah, that's that's about uh, yeah. I guess where there's also the um, the quill uh, power feed. Uh, this this does not this model doesn't have the the power feed, but it came as an option. Um, and I've seen uh, I've seen one partially disassembled, but I've never never seen one in good work and shape. Um, it'd be a good option to have, but uh, this fine. Um, quill feed is, is pretty nice actually as it is um, yeah I don't have the um, the dogs that that trip the um, the X uh, lever uh, I do have you can see on this they would just plug into these uh, T slots here here and there and and kind of sit down and uh, trip this trip this back and forth and down here there's a uh, uh, a little dowel that that sets down, and then you've got a cap screw and uh, and nut on this side, and then this that would uh, trip the um, the Y power feed, um, basically limit travel. Uh, so I gotta gotta pop in another bolt there, uh, make some dogs. And uh, fix this up. I gotta gotta get the um, the oil the get oil reservoir thing there. Um, and let's see what else. Um, I've seen some cool like vernier uh, caliper things that that plug in to this T slot. Um, I've only seen them in the catalog, but I was wondering if anybody had had seen one. Uh, they look kind of fragile, so I would be surprised if anybody had a set laying around. Um, but it looked like you know a 1945 version of a <laughs> digital readout, um, except of course not not digital, but looked pretty pretty accurate, pretty cool, pretty cool option. You can see that at um, George Gorton's website. Uh, it's 
you can search Gordon Mill on the internet and it's uh, a site that comes up. It's got a lot of catalogs and stuff linked. Um, this um, mine actually, I, I've seen quite a few mills. I think eight and a half D's as well. Um, as well as, as eight D's that did not have a, a plate here that would swing out. Um, all the electrical stuff is just mounted to the outside of the mill casting. Um, but you know, here I've got this, um, I've got this electrical stuff actually inside the casting and um, with a nice door and uh, kind of, I think it's kind of nice. Um, yeah, that's that. It's a nice machine. Uh, pretty cool. I'd love to learn more about them. Um, also, my uh, let's see, my model, our serial number, twenty one nine hundred. Don't really know what that means. Um, don't know if any of you guys if that means anything, but I'd I'd love to hear who it went to and what it came with. Uh, if anybody can figure that out, um, I'm not sure if this is original equipment or not. Um, it looks like it might be, but I'm assuming that this is a 220 to um, 110 converter. Um, transformer, rather. And uh, I guess that powers the the lamp outlet and the oil pump, maybe? I don't know if that was 110 or not. This could have been something that was added later. I'm, I'm not really sure. You know, it looks like it, it very well might have been added later. Um, but it's hard to tell when this thing's been repainted, uh, this nasty pea green color. Um, but yeah, I'd probably look into adding a, a mist, a coolant mister as well at some point. Yep, that's that. Um, great big motor with, uh, Grease Zerk style fittings. Still haven't figured out if those actually take Zerks or take grease in the Zerks or if they take oil. Uh, there's another one down here for the, I'm assuming that's for the power feed motor. And another here. Um, and I don't have an oil gun with a Zerk fitting on the end of it. Uh, I'm in the process of sourcing one and, but I have to figure out what, what in the world to put in there anyways.